Hi. Yeah. How are you? Fine, thank you. So, yes, William, you were today the first time in Melody Festival. How did it feel to be on the big stage? Yeah, uh, it was amazing uh, to feel the crowd, and uh, yeah, I'm so happy, and I'm so proud of myself for doing this and uh, just show me. Yeah. Yes. So uh, now you just slightly missed Andra Schanson yeah. being the fifth place. Do you feel disappointed or do you feel like motivation to come back again and to try it with another song? More uh, motivation to come back in a year or two. Yeah. No, but I'm uh, I'm happy. Also, I'm not uh, mad or like no. Can you tell something about your next projects? Uh, I'm gonna focus on this uh, single now, more news. And then I'm gonna write some uh, new music and uh, hopefully release under the year. Yeah. And any prediction? Who will win Melody Festival in 2020? Now that you are out, you can say maybe your favorite. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Hanna Fer. All right. So thanks a lot, and hopefully see you back again in Melody Festival. Yeah, thank you. With uh, Eurovision and Melody F Festival legend Nane Grunwald, it was so nice so s to see you back today on stage. How did you feel after such a break being here at Melody Festival? It was great fun. I haven't been uh, doing this for 13 years, so it's uh, very, uh, it's it's great fun to have been back and daring to do that again. I'm turning 58 years old now, so it feels very good to dare to do something like that again. And your song was so joyful and so much dancing, so where do you get yes. the energy from? Oh, from the music, absolutely from, from the music. <laughs> mm -hmm. You have got a lot of fans, especially like international, like when we were looking at the Facebook live streaming, yeah. Yeah. people were loving your song. Do you think that oh, it has you. got some kind of like more popularity Swedish Schlager abroad compared to, to, to in Sweden? Oh, I don't know. I haven't had the time to reflect on, on that. Uh, so and uh, I, I'm just happy about all of the support that I get. Yeah, yeah, because we think it would be really great to have a Swedish Slager song back like in, in the final sometime in Melody yeah. Festival and yeah. we think this is really what lacking so it would be great to see you again. Uh, Can you imagine this coming back to Melody Festival? Maybe, not, not next year you have to, but maybe someday, absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you sang Den, v Den Wilder one more time in uh, 96. Uh, that was a, a fantastic ballad, a yeah. slow song. Now you did an upbeat, very really upbeat song. W what is your preference to sing? Do you have anything like that, a preference? Uh, preference of, yeah. Yeah. of singing uh, upbeat music or yeah. more quiet a bit? Ah, sorry. Um, I love both, uh, but it's different when I do with one more time than I love doing the ballads. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also do ballads myself, but on the other hand, uh, when I'm performing like a melody festival, and I want to do up tempo. I feel that's where I can really do my thing. Are you planning some concerts this summer in Sweden? Uh, yes, I I'm going to uh, do quite a lot of gigs actually this summer, yes. Great. Uh, of course we talked yesterday about your radio career. Do you still broadcast actively every uh, on a regular basis? Which one? Radio. Your yes. radio show host. So. Oh, I haven't done that uh, this last year, uh, but otherwise I, I do it every now and then. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and different radio shows like Youth Box and Empire Fida and so. Mm -hmm. But uh, I've been very focused on uh, writing songs mm -hmm. and uh, recording in the studio, things mm -hmm. like that. So, um, um, it maybe is a tough question to ask now. Are you disappointed about the result? No, uh, yeah, of course it would have been fantastic too. But, but on the other hand, I'm aware this is a very typical Schlager. And today is more of uh, uh, modern sounds uh, and uh, things. But we wanted to keep it a little mm. bit 80s. Mm. And uh, then we know it, it can be more difficult. But uh, I'm so proud of the song. I'm so proud of the act. Yeah. So I I really love uh, love doing it, and I'm still happy about those who supported it, and uh, I look forward to doing gigs with dancers. For this. About your entry this year, um, car, uh, carpool karaoke. Uh, how was the process of creating that song? How how did you get the idea of doing that? 
Oh, I started watching Carpool Karaoke and uh, with James Corden. I got so happy watching it. So I started, re- I wrote the song actually in English from the beginning because I had not Melody Festival in mind at all. And uh, so I'm... Um, uh, so, so I wrote the song and then Peter, my husband, said, shouldn't we send it to Melody Festival? And uh, so we did. And then it came through. And now I've been here doing this act with all of those fabulous dancers. So I'm very, very proud. And tonight I'm going to party. <laughs> yes, we'll join you there. Thank you very much. Love Love and hope to see you again thank because we much. need the Swedish Schlager and we really love it. Oh. Thank you very much. Congratulations for reaching the final. How do you feel? Uh, very good. I, I've been uh, in extra, like extra. No, I've been very happy. But now I feel a bit more calm. It's uh, it was a lot of like nervous moments in the end there. So, um, but very happy. Yes. So you are already a pro. Being last year for Estonia in Tel Aviv, yeah. uh, was it still a little bit nervousness being now on the stage of Melody Festival? Definitely. I think. Well, like in Eurovision, we had a few problems too, but uh, during this week we had so much problems with the lighting, with the cameras, with my voice, with angles, how I move. So it's been like just building up all the time, which uh, I don't know, it's yeah, made some pressure. And uh, but, but I feel like when I stepped off the stage, I, it felt kind of good. Uh, but then I was in the last top five and then the last of the finalists, the gladiator stuff, like it's always stand, like very nerve wracking. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, it's great. And now you are one of the favorites even to win Melody Festival in the polls. So, okay. who do you think is your strongest contender? Well, there's so many. <laughs> Hannah, for instance, I really like Dotter. I don't know, how do you say Dotter? Dot, Dotter, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Daughter. <laughs> daughter, daughter, that's an American thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, I think Hurst is the best. Anna Bergendahl, of course, she's amazing. So uh, my, my main goal was to take, take it to the final. And now I did that, so I'm very happy. And is there anything you want to change for the performance in Stockholm? Or do, would you say everything is now perfect? Uh, I know that the producers are, want to change some stuff. Uh, but like, you can always fix things. But uh, yes, we will see what happens. It's I haven't seen it myself. So. All right. So congratulations again, and Thank see you, you in Stockholm. Yes. Bis dann. Tschüss.